talks failed. Amazon rep denied the deal with Megan for her new audiobook and podcast, Boring Ideas. Megan's PR agency has revealed that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are set to recoup their lost Spotify millions in a new deal with a rival online audio giant. The agency said that the Duke and Duchess's business advisors are in talks with Amazon-owned audiobook and podcast service Audible, whose roster of stars includes former President and First Lady Barack and Michelle Obama. At the same time, Meghan has been reaching out personally to A-list icons including Pretty Woman actress Julia Roberts in an effort to generate joint projects for a planned relaunch of a website, The Tig. The source said, Harry and Meghan are retooling, retrenching and preparing to change course in their efforts to establish themselves in their production company, Archwell, as serious players across multimedia platforms. Expect them to come out swinging in the new year. A spokesman for the Duke and Duchess insisted Meghan's ill-fated podcast would continue, cryptically adding, Meghan is continuing to develop more content for the archetype's audience on another platform. However, today, Amazon Studios' representative broke silence to deny Megan Team's statement. This article is all based on the musings of a supposed PR expert who's hired by Meghan Markle. Megan never has a chance to approach A-list icons like Julia Roberts. Julia has a great reputation, why would she want to associate with Megan? Indeed, the Sussexes contacted Amazon and Megan's new team at powerhouse LA talent agency WME is involved in talks, but it's unlikely to exist a deal. They'd be obliged to offer any audio projects to Audible first, but would then be completely free to market them elsewhere if rejected. However, Amazon will not follow Spotify's footsteps because Megan's podcast is considered not new and plagiarized. The Sussexes are talentless irrelevancies who think the world owes them. The Montecito couple's Hollywood dream, as well as their finances, took a massive hit in June, when Spotify terminated their £16 million contract early, amid acrimony over their paltry output of only a dozen podcasts. The TIG relaunch seems to be taking forever, I doubt it will ever happen. As for the podcast, unless they come up either new and exciting topics, no one will touch it. They couldn't make it work with Spotify because they weren't working making content. So unless they learn to work, I don't see them getting the deal. They aren't A-listers and I don't see them becoming A-listers because they tell things that real A-listers say that they shouldn't, Plus, can't be trusted in everything about them. They have no consideration for anyone else. Interestingly, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have yet to update their website, archwall.com, which still mentions their deal with Spotify. It's not known whether the couple is deliberately keeping Spotify's name in the introduction of Archwall Audio on their website. The couple worked one hour a week on Archwall, their charitable endeavour, a new tax filing shows, said a report in March this year. It comes after a source said that Meghan wants to be a senator or even a future president of the United States. But she could barely make it as a royal for less than two years. There's a new report that suggests Meghan Markle would fail at becoming a politician just because she doesn't have thick enough skin for all the criticism that she'd get. Royal expert and author Angela Levin, who's someone who's made it her career to bash Prince Harry and Meghan Markle on a daily basis, thinks there's no way that Meghan would ever make it to the White House. That's because she's too sensitive when it comes to what people say and think about her.